What is going on? Matt O'Leary back with another video on this lovely Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, Friday, New York Jets football. We still have some news to get into from this week. We have Nathaniel Hackett speaking with the media today, and oh my goodness gracious, the more that Nathaniel Hackett opens his mouth, the less confident I get in Nathaniel Hackett. I don't know what this man is saying anymore. What's up, guys? Matt O'Leary back with underdog fantasy picks for week 12. Jets, Dolphins, let's hop into it. I have two picks this week for this game. I like Tim Boyle to get higher than 28 and a half passing attempts in this one. Uh, I think the Jets are going to be down in this game and have to throw the ball to get back into it. He had 14 passing attempts in a quarter and a little bit. So I think he's going over 30. 28 and a half feels like a good number. And for as good as what the Jets defense is, I think they could be got with the run game a little bit right now. Raheem Mostert's went over 80 yards each of the last two weeks. I think they lean on the run game a little bit. I think if they're up in the second half, they will run the ball a little bit. So just two picks, which could 3x your money. So if a $10 play gets you 30, sign up using my link down below in the description, and they will match your deposit, 100, 100% match bonus up to 100 bucks. Sign up using my code over at Underdog. Okay, so let's start with Nathaniel Hackett's thoughts on Tim Boyle. Not surprising he wants him because he knows the system. He has a unbelievable knowledge of the system. Uh, he, he has uh, a tenacity when it comes to his preparation. I mean, he nonstop from everything, from every single drawing to every single thing on the game sheet. Uh, he prepares truly like a starter and has since day one. Uh, he's been in the system for two years uh, at Green Bay when we were there and now here. So uh, I think him, his command of the system and understanding is, is something that, that we really love. For whatever reason, I talked about it last night on the show with Ryan, uh, the Talking Jets show every Tuesday night. You guys know the drill, but every single coach, specifically on the Jets, but I can't stand why people who they've had before who aren't good but have just been in their system before they're like that's the guy that i want because he knows how to do it he's not good at doing it but he knows how to do it tim boyle billy turner <laughs> like those are perfect examples of guys who are not good who continue to get job after job after job because they know the offensive coordinator slash head coach and they know the system which is just like, if the guy stinks, it doesn't make a difference. Like, great, he knows what to do and where to be and, you know, all this. But what does that mean? And I guess, you know, in the podcast earlier today, we talked about Tim Boyle expectations. And my expectations aren't very high. I don't think he's going to come in and light it up. Maybe he looks like Mike White against the Bengals from 2021. I don't know. I, I, I don't think that's a fair or realistic option for you know, the New York Jets here, but I understand again why they made a change. I would have rather them go to Trevor Simeon because he has NFL experience. He's been better, significantly better than Tim Boyle has in the NFL. So great. He knows Nathaniel Hackett uh, and knows the Nathaniel Hackett system, which seems like it cannot work without Aaron Rodgers. And now let's get into this absolutely unbelievable quote that Nathaniel Hackett dropped. Zach Rosenblatt tweeted out the quote. I had to read it over twice to make sure that I read it correctly, but it's just, let's do it. Let's read it. When it comes to stats, there are so many different ways to look at numbers. Good, bad. There are people throughout this league that have been very, very good. There are those that are not as good. That fluctuates. There are so many things that change. That's why this game is so great. So many different things that change personnel, situations, so many different things. What the hell is that quote? He is just getting up there rambling like he's Michael Scott. This is unbelievable. I can't believe he is calling plays for this team. And I get it. I really do. Aaron Rodgers and Nathaniel Hackett. Like you sign up for Nathaniel Hackett if you're getting Aaron Rodgers. You do. Because essentially all Nathaniel Hackett does is give him the formation and then Aaron Rodgers gets up to line of scrimmage, not with three seconds left on the play clock, but it gets up there with a lot of time, makes adjustments at the line, and off you go. 
So it's like Hackett would be a glorified quarterbacks co- coach, and really it would be Aaron Rodgers running the show. But can Zach Wilson do that? No. Can Tim Boyle do that? No. Can Trevor Simeon do that? Also no. So it, it looks really, really bad. But it's I am still I am floored by this quote because the more that he speaks and the more that he opens his mouth, the less confident I feel in the guy. That shouldn't be the case. You should be more confident the more your your coordinator or coach speaks. That I, every time Hackett opens his mouth, it's like, what are you doing? What are you talking about, man? And like last week, remember the whole story from from Hackett and Sala was changes, big changes coming to the coming to the Jets on offense. They weren't making a change at quarterback, at least not to start the game. But oh, Nathaniel Hackett went up to the booth, did nothing. Oh, they're gonna play Jeremy Rucker more. They played Uzama less, but Ruckert played about the same amount of snaps. Oh, there Izzy Abanacan is getting unleashed this week. One garbage time carry. He got his first carry with five minutes left in the fourth quarter when they were down 32 to six. Irv Charles. Uh, who else? Jason Brownlee, Malik Taylor, guys like that. Oh, yeah, they'll get their roles. The wide receivers had like three catches in this game. Gary Wilson had two. And Xavier Gibson had one. That was it. They did nothing. The wide receivers did nothing in that game against Buffalo. So who the hell knows what happens on Friday? Again, low expectation for me for this game on Friday. But yeah, Nathaniel Hackett quote, man, that is one of the more bizarre ones that I've seen from a head coach. Uh, Excuse me, not a head coach. Thank God he's not a head coach. From an offensive coordinator in a very, very long time. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time.